it's no secret, I eat at restaurants just like everyone else. Penny and I really love a nice night out together. But how do we go out on the town without going off the plan? Turns out a lot of people want to know. So today I'm here to answer a really common question. How can I eat at restaurants on the Plant Paradox plan? The answer, it's not always easy, but it doesn't have to be hard. After all, I'm a big believer that you shouldn't have to feel like you're making sacrifices to live a satisfying, healthy life. So I'd never tell you that you're required to eat every single meal at home. Not only would that be incredibly boring, but it'd make me a hypocrite. So what's the secret to enjoying a nice night out without destroying your health? First, do your research ahead of time by going online and reading menus. If you're picking a restaurant, look for one that's got lots of leafy greens and it lists its sources for meat and seafood. Avoid heavily starchy foods and most of all, try to avoid menus that say no changes or substitutions. Chances are they won't be the most flexible if you need to say, uh, have the dressing off the salad. And whether or not you're picking the restaurant, skim the menu to figure out what you do and don't want to eat. If you plan to go in with a game plan and some thoughts about what you're going to order, you're less likely to give in to temptation. Now, once you've picked a restaurant and nailed down a couple of options for ordering, the next step becomes before you leave for dinner. And it's actually pretty easy. All you've got to do is have a little snack, nothing crazy. I'm talking about a tablespoon or two of nuts, just enough to take the edge off so you don't get to the restaurant's stomach growling, smell all that great food and forget your plan. Trust me, it happens, which is why I suggest cutting those cravings off at the pass and nuts are just the thing. Now, next up, when you get to the restaurant, drink a big glass of water and tell the waiter not to bring the bread. It's a huge temptation you don't need. Then go ahead and order. If everybody's getting an appetizer and you don't want to say no, get a nice salad with olive oil, vinegar, and a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. It's something most places will have. For your main course, you can't go wrong with roast veggies, sauteed greens, or a nice piece of wild caught seafood or grass fed meat. Just confirm with the restaurant that they're cooking with oils like avocado oil or olive oil, not lectin loaded canola oil. And do your best to skip dessert. I know how tempting it is. And just enjoy a nice espresso instead or a decaffeinated espresso. Now, what can you do if you simply can't find an ideal restaurant? where the meat is sustainably sourced, the cheese is European, and the menu is rich in greens. You do your best and focus on doing 80% right. Luckily, most restaurants, yes, even fast food restaurants, have salads on the menu. So there's always a nice, easy option. And go ahead, pay extra for the avocado. It's great for you and filling too. Just make sure your salad doesn't have a lot of high lectin, high sugar add-ins like dried fruit, croutons, or tomatoes. If you're out and just not feeling salad, try making a meal of side dishes. I've made entire meals with the roasted Brussels sprouts and sauteed spinach on the sides menu. They're actually remarkably filling. If you're at a place where you're worried about the portions, especially the portions of things like meat, which we eat way too much of, don't even look at the entrees. Order off the appetizer menu instead. Chances are you'll get just the amount of meat and seafood that you need. So that plus a nice salad, it will fill you up with no problem. If you're at a place where everything's served with vegetables and potatoes, ask if they can skip the potatoes and double the veggies. Most restaurants will actually do it without blinking an eye. And let's say you end up in that scary situation where your all time favorite indulgent food is on the menu. Say a melt in your mouth chocolate souffle or the best bread you've ever had. You know what? That's when you see if a friend will order it and if they'll be nice enough to let you have a bite or two. 
but just a bite or two. Heck, I even sometimes have the bread when I'm in France or Italy, but just a little bit. And the next day after a big meal, skip breakfast and maybe skip lunch too. Think of it as an intermittent fasting reset for your system. And when you do break that fast, break fast, get it, make it a nice bowl of leafy greens covered in olive oil. Your gut will thank you. Because I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you, even when you're out on the town. Thank you.